with hi Mel hi Shanna I'm glad you guys are here um, there's a lot going on and I totally forgot to print out the design team call I know a lot of you ladies have um, already seen it but a worldwide call we're gonna do five or six lovely ladies I would like five pictures of products that um, you, when you created them, believe that they portray the um, specific artistic design that you love the most, like if you do watercoloring or if you enjoy um, creating boxes or bags or things that are maybe considered altered art, anything like that. Whatever resembles you, I'd like to see those five projects and um, I need to know what design teams you are currently on just so that I know that the uh, burden is not so great um, that you may become overwhelmed. I've been in this industry for 11 or 12 years. I've been on probably 20 different design teams, so I get it. I understand the whole thing, the desire to work with fantastic stamps that you really think you'll enjoy. and making sure that you can fit it in or two different things but so we are going to look at previous design teams a little bit not so much if you haven't got very much experience then that's okay um we can work with you we can uh you know help you with software that will assist in better photography and all of those things we're definitely willing to work on that with you um what else it is open until the 5th of November and three projects per month are needed. That would be one of part of the requirement. Um, and there's a lot of goodies involved. You get free product every month and then you get discounts in the store. So I would suggest if you have any interest in it, then go to the new Facebook group for TLC Creative Sharing, TLC Designs Creative Sharing. Um, take a peek in there under the announcement tab and you'll find the entire call. And I, yeah, I've got several applicants already and I'm so excited to do this for the first time because I've never been on this end of the spectrum, but it should be fun. Hi Pam, hi Sandy. Nice to have you ladies with us. Um, we're gonna do a double dial die project today. I don't know if you got to see the Prima, um, the promotion of it that I just put out a few minutes ago. Look how sweet he is. I just love this stamp. <laughs> this entire um, illustration set with all these dragons are just adorable. I just, Maria Medal is the one that designs the, or illustrates the product. And for me, for this particular set, I don't have time to draw every single thing I get to sell in the store, but she's so sweet. I love this card. Hello. Hi, Sharon. Thank you, Shanna. He is cute, isn't he? Um, I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, but I fell in love and I couldn't resist. And look at how the clouds, he's just swinging in his hammock. I want to, I want to swing in a hammock. <laughs> he is sweet. Okay. So this is the project that we're going to work on today. And Ladies, ladies, I've been so busy working in the background. My husband thinks I'm odd that I stay up so often. You're odd. I know. <laughs> um, so what I want to say is in each of these cute little dragon baby um, stamp sets, you get these little extras. So like the balloons, the hat, the bow tie I think there's two or three extras like a pacifier a bottle things like that in the um, digital set as well that will coordinate with this but you get candies sweetie comes with candies and ice cream and cupcakes and stars and moons come with dreamer um, but I decided look 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 how sweet I decided to make a design pack of paper custom with the elements from the packs. So this is product oriented, basically. If you wanna make an autumn card with the dragons and have paper that's gonna coordinate with it, 
Look at all the candies from Sweetie's Candy Pack. These are hand colored by me. And the flowers from um, Greetings is his name. He's in the little egg shell. He's the new baby one. But you get some solids. You get some stripes. And oh, this is like a very rich autumn colored pack. And um, the plaids, you get little polka dots. But look, this is the one that came with Dreamer. And I used it tonight. It's got all those little pacifiers and all those little stars and some other things. So I just want to real quick... This is the one with the ice creams and the, so if you want to do a birthday card um, and coordinate it with any one of the dragons, it doesn't matter which dragon you put with it, because you're going to have a stamp. Look how sweet. It's the same balloon. So you'll have a stamp that coordinates specifically with your design paper and I, I couldn't... Um, I couldn't be more excited to actually design like this because I think that this is something that I would have done years and years and years ago. But we're all odd when we craft at three in the morning. Yes, we are a little bit. But so I took a look at this. Look at how rich. It's like an olive green, somewhat close to what's in my logo, actually. I do. I'm a bright, bold, and beautiful creator. I don't like. I, I can't say I don't like. I prefer not the vintagey soft look. I prefer the bold, rich colors. So you get some yellow stripes. So you get a little bit of ge geometric patterns, but look at how sweet that is. It's upside down. The moon and the cloud is one of the stamps that come in the Dreamer pack. And this is like a peachish orange. It kind of all coordinates with the same colors. You get some paper that is just background paper. But, like, it would be a perfect match. You know, even any of these, if you could put the dots with the solid and create with it. It's all color coordinated for you. We did all the work. Put all the effort into making sure that the stamp images are the same. Look at how pretty. And you got it like a green, almost a furry background. And then the candies. I fell in love with these candies. I hand colored all of the, well, four, and then worked my magic in Adobe Illustrator to get those and that's what we're gonna this is the orange that we're working with tonight so you get you get a few solids in with your pack so that is not in the store yet because I ran out of time this afternoon what paper do you put on? this uh, is regular copy paper and then I would um, I get to ask that all the time I adhere it to 110 pound stock paper once it's printed on copy paper. So this is just regular copy paper. Okay, and then I create my own pack. But because it's digital, it's you know something that's easy to work with. You could be anywhere in the country and use these products immediately. It's like instant gratification with digital paper. So I am loving it more and more. My husband and I love your card. You oh, thank you, Dawn. I don't remember if you got happy or not. What, is he holding a candle? No, that wouldn't... I don't think I sent one of those out. It would depend on what he's doing. I could tell you which one it was. Um, hi, Ian. Hi, Nancy. So this is the new designer paper pack. It'll be in the store after the live tonight. I promise I will get it in before I go to rest. I, I'm running on just a few hours of sleep because I worked so hard to try and get this in. It's called Dragons in Autumn. I am going to do the same sort of thing for all four seasons for this um, dragon uh, coordinated stamp set. So if you have all of the dragons, hi Amy Dotson wants to be in your video. James has stepped away for a second, so I'm not sure. Oh, it lights up. Yes, that is happy. That's the one that comes with the balloon. He is cute. So, James stepped away for a second. He'll be right back, and then he can figure out what's going on with wanting in on the video. Sharon Smith, adorable papers. Thank you. Um, but I'm going to do it for each one of the seasons, and I'm going to include, you know, all of the little elements. So that we have to look forward to. I'm going to let you know that I am going to 
um, put some bundles together for the holiday season that's coming up. So keep an eye out for that. I will send an email um, regarding the bundling of the double dial die with these adorable little dragons and the paper. So keep an eye out for that. This is the paper that I printed originally. I colored in Procreate. It's because I don't really have the time to grab my Copics anymore, but I hand colored all of it. And I just printed out on regular copy paper. And then I run a tape runner across the back of it. I add it to stock, 110 pounds stock paper. And then fussy cut, that's all I did. It's very simple, ladies, it's not difficult. Um, Christmas winter dragons, I know, I know. It's gonna be so cute. I have so many of Maria Medell's um, stamp images coming out. You ladies are going to go hog wild over them. I got um, toga wearing little, uh, um, they're not elves. <laughs> I can't remember what, what the critters are called. What are those? James, do you know what those critters are called? Goblins. No, they're not goblins. That's <laughs> funny. But um, I have, I have toga wearing, bubble blowing. Uh, Gnomes. Gnomes, yes. And they're just so cute. And I have some turtles and I have some other little critters. So she does such a great job. I'm really excited about this entire set. So I hope everybody enjoys working with the project that we're doing tonight. We're going to um, actually assemble the double dial die, which is something that I constantly get um, questions regarding. So I wanted to do that again this month and get that out of the way. Um, for anybody new that's just joined in, this is the project that we're going to try and design tonight live. Look at how sweet he is. Ah, I love and look at all of the little details. You got little mushrooms. You got a whole little scene going on in the bottom. You got interactive card on the top. You have a sweetheart sitting in the center. And then it says swinging by to say hi, which is the sentiment that comes with the stamp set for Dreamer. So anyway, let's get into the products that we're going to work with tonight. This is the land and sea die for 12 dies. I am going to use not only the mushroom, but the grass as well. And then... You'll notice TLC Designs has a little bit of background embellishment dies with all of my frames because I think it's important to have something extra to finish your product project off with regardless what frame you decide to use in your project. So combining these works really well also because they are sized appropriately. So no matter how many of these sets that you own, you're bound to have either flowers or bugs or little critters or words that say hi or sunsets or, you know, clouds, birds, whatever there is in it. It will give you more than just a frame. That's what I wanted to say. This is the Aztec Sunshine Circle of Nine Dyes. And we are going to use the clouds from this one. I like to have a range of dyes to use because then you're not limited to what your scene can look like in the background. Scalloped Rectangle Garden has eight dyes and we use the bush and the stump and the birdhouse in this particular project. This is the Loving Petal Square die and it has a perfect label making die right there in the center and I use that one for the sentiment that I cut out in the center and then today's big die to be used is the double dial die one and we do not use this entire frame this time we do use the dial I cut twice I use the um, I want to call them gaskets but they're not gaskets I want to uh, washers I want to cut one, two, three, four washers, uh, two arms, and this is the section of the die that we're going to use today and apply it into a regular A2 size frame, five and a half by four and a quarter. So let's get started with that. All right. Going to, I, I was going to do a little bit more prep, but ran out of time. So I am going to cut the topper, I believe, four and a quarter. The topper portion is one quarter less than the A2 size card, so it is four 
and it is going to need to be five and one quarter so that you can see I'm creating the topper portion of the interactive card that sits on a base that is made with the regular size A2. All right, I'm going to grab in one of those pre-mades. I'll tell you exactly what I use, let's say. Perfect cardstock, one day veggie, and I think it's from Ranger. I love the fact that it's easy to grab one pre-made. You don't have to spend too much time cutting and snipping. Okay, so here's the regular base card. Oops, that's the piece that I cut away, sorry. This is the one. So you can see you get that quarter of an inch all the way around. That's what we kind of want to create today. So let's get rid of this. Where did I put the papers? Mr. Kumloff, do you, yeah. did I give them to you? No. no. Oh, never mind. I found them. Okay, so today we're going to use this color. It's a, kind of like a deep, rich autumn orange almost. It's just beautiful. I love it. It's one of my favorite from this paper pack. And then there it is. The moons and the pacifiers because he's sleeping. Okay. Are you laughing at me? No. <laughs> no. Something else. He, he sighed at something. Yeah. Are you watching? Jim? Yes, I am. I'm updating stuff too. I, I need you to watch the comments if you would. Please, please, please. So I don't miss anything. Hi, Carol. Hi, Mary. Hi, Lillian. So, all we're going to do is adhere all of the cutting for the dial is going to be in the topper that I pop up onto this base. So, we're going to put our design paper and uh, please do ladies comment let us know that you're there never would he be laughing at you just with us <laughs> oh Kathy all right Oops. I almost had it. Sometimes I do laugh at her. He does. It's okay. I don't take it personally. I laugh at him all the time. <laughs> so, we're just going to apply that to this. Cut away the excess. And we have our base card. I love this color of paper. I have to do more with this palette, this color palette. I love it. Okay. So we have our base. I keep all of the little extras too. Um, I printed out the sentiment that we're gonna use today and I cut it with, I showed you earlier, the dye. I think this comes in the something, it's called something square. It's hard to keep the paper straight in your life. Cut the paper straight when you're live? It's hard to get the paper straight. Oh yes, Mel, you mean like I have to be able to like see it. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. Um, so Loving Petal Square is where this die cut came from and it says swinging by to say hi we're just gonna pop that get every portion of the card that we can get done done before we do the assembly because I know everyone is really anxious and excited to see that assembly of that die you, you ladies it's so simple you ladies are gonna just be amazed at how easy the die is okay 
So we are done with the base. We're going to put that off to the side real second. And we have the topper section, which again is one quarter inch <laughs> smaller than an A2 size card. So it would be four by five and a quarter. All I'm going to do now is apply. I want to make sure that I don't have those edges. I'm a fanatic about making sure that the edges don't come upward when I die cut. It, it's Just a, join Bowl Street Group and Seven Kids. They're selling their store and I may have to check that sale out. Yeah, I heard that actually. Um, there was going to be some sort of an announcement for the new owner. I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going on there. I haven't. I haven't had an opportunity to contact uh, Kelly very recently uh, because of all of the running a design team and keeping up with products and things like that. I've been really super slant and COVID, and um, I had an aunt that passed away, so we had a funeral service just recently. So different things have been going on, and I haven't been keeping up. Unfortunately, I got. I gotta put my head over this. Mel's right. This is what you. Okay. So, just like you would buy the design team paper or the <laughs> designer paper packs, it's the same. <clears throat> Amy bought some scissors just to fussy cut your. <laughs> Yay! Um, it's one additional step, but in my opinion. The quality is there, immediate gratification, the price is a little bit better for digital paper. There are a lot of pros to digital. But it's not for everyone. I'm just saying there's good and bad in everything we do, but you know. If you hadn't given them a chance or an opportunity to get to playing with a, some of it, I'm going to cut a little bit of this off because my it's so small, but I'm, I'm, I'm picky, selective. I like that word a little better. I, I need it to look a specific way. <laughs> so I'm going to take pictures of it. I want the product and the project to look the best that I can. I brought some sharp scissors yesterday just for fussy cutting your images off. Excellent. So now we have a card stock that you, just like a designer paper from the pack. Actually, I think it's a little bit better because you get to 110 and I don't know that a lot of designer paper comes in quite that thick of stock, but <clears throat> excuse me. So I am going to once again use that oval die that we used on the sentiment. If you can see, I'll show you in the project that I made earlier. You need to leave a little bit of room. You want this to fit in a regular A2 size envelope so the dial can't pop up out of the space that you have in the envelope. So you need to push it into the card a little bit and have a little bit of it cut away so that you can easily, look at how it's smooth. And I'm gonna show you all the tricks about that. But this is how I created the little space. Just use an oval. Now the CU in the center interactive die has one of these edge trimmers included in the kit. I did not pre-think that. I think I went in about that far. When I was creating the double dial die, that was not in my thought process and neither was the tool that now I could never live without <laughs> while creating with these. So the CU in the center die comes with some really goodies by comparison to the double dial. I think it, when I need to reproduce the double dial die again, it'll be my third time that I manufactured them, I'm gonna include it so that all the new customers will have all the new goodies. Come out, okay. And I'm gonna remember to keep flipping my plates every time I cut. Now, also, in addition, sometimes this purple tape is really strong. So 
other times it just comes right off. I'm not sure. Maybe when the Gemini Junior puts all of its pressure on it. It makes it um, compressed, more compressed than usual. Hi, Christy. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Colleen. You always forget to flip your plates, too. It's something that I, it's like, have to do, you have to get in the habit of doing it. Come on. Come off. Thank you. Yay. I'm going to use my little gum eraser because I can feel it did definitely push and, and got my card a little bit tacky this time. It didn't do that earlier. But no big deal. I'll just use this gum eraser. Slide it across. You can see the paper holds up really well under whatever conditions I've put it under. I just don't want any of that tacky feel. And that's better. Ladies, so if when you run, it didn't do it a great deal this time. Last time it did a little bit more. But when I run this through and do the cutting for the um, dial portion of this project, it might leave an indent on this paper. And all you have to do is run it through again with maybe a shim and make sure that you put a lot of pressure on it and it'll flatten it out. Huh? I still use my cuddle bug. Yeah, I love the cuddle bug, Kathy. I have it too and, and I love using it. Um, arthritis kind of hurts so I try not to use it too much anymore but the Gemini Junior really has it and I don't like embossing folders going through it because I just have not found the right sandwich or the embossing folder is too thick for it or something so I use my cuddle bug for that when I'm going to want to see the quarter of an inch all the way around it leaves this, which I wish I had pre-thought about using that die again and cutting it on the cardstock. And because I'm with you guys tonight, I get to do that and redeem myself, my skills, by putting this one up here. Move that away. Put it in the cut up or the die cutter. I'm not crazy about my cuddle bug, Dana. Before. She's not crazy about the cuddle bug. I like it because it, you know, it was one of my first machines, and I could take it to all of the scrapbooking events and the card making events that I went to, so it was super easy without electricity. I think that's one of the best things I like about it, and. Um, I tried to replace mine because I thought that the roller had worn out and the one that I bought to replace it, I hated it. I, literally, they did something different to it. It did not cut the same way. I didn't like it. I took it back and I'm sticking with the old one. So maybe you got a replacement one that just was not up to the same standards. Like I did. You don't know. Hi, Tina. Tina, I'm glad you could join us. It's been a little bit. Since you've been able to visit with us, so that's good. Okay, um, and we do have a little bit of gumminess, so we're going to take that off. So, I was watching TV the other day, just this off, off topic. I was watching TV, and Christmas commercials are out already. 
Um, ladies, what's wrong with this picture? We're not even past Halloween, let alone Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm here just multitasking. What are you multitasking with, Dawn? What are you up to tonight? Okay, so it, it cut through the, the... Remember, this is two layers already. So it cut through those two layers. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, ladies, do not put die cut sentiments on before you're done with the base of your card. This will be covered up, so it's no big deal, but I wanted to show you what it did. It left me this little oval <laughs> because I had that in there. I'm like, where did that come from? So, but it's completely covered up, so it's no big deal. Making chili and trying to watch. Making chili and trying to watch. Yeah, that's what they're up to. That's what they're doing. They're multitasking, James. That's what Amy's doing. Yeah, I did. We had chili like two or three nights ago. It was really good. Two nights ago, yeah. Yummy. I actually had a very fresh salad today, so that was good for me. So there we have. Don's looking for card ideas. Who, Don? Yeah. Well, Don. Try make, this one. Make an interactive card. Look. So we have it all the way around this time. Yay! Kudos to Tammy for remembering to do, that, to do that. Okay, so I believe we're done with this now. We can put this away. Now, let's talk about... Where did I put them? Oh, here they are. So, I mentioned last time that I made a bunch of Christmas cards into double dials and then decided not to send them. So, look at I have all of these, like... I made 20 of them. I have all of them pre-cut and just sitting around waiting with all the brides in them and everything. So we're going to use one of these pre-mades, which is really, really coming in handy for my live videos. <laughs> so I caught two of the dials and adhered them together and then two of the arms and adhered them together because this is paper ladies but in an interactive card you're going to want it to do something extraordinary extraordinary um so you're going to need it to be strong 110 pound stock added to another 110 pound stock you are extraordinary james <laughs> actually a good idea to make some ahead yeah it is and, and to have like a little package and you just look you just grab them and go it's awesome um i wish i had thought about it weeks ago <laughs> So you're going to need four brads, you're going to need four washers, and an arm that's doubled, and a dial that's doubled, okay? This is what I want to do with My some of... My husband told me that I have to get as good as you in making cards. He loves my Aww. cards. I'm sure your cards are gorgeous. I'm going to want to cover up some of this white on the dial, so I'm going to use a little piece of the scrap paper that came off when I trimmed being really prepared. the card. So, who's being, oh, yeah. Stuff cut already. Yeah. Mal, it really came in handy, actually. I, I, I don't know why I didn't do it earlier, but, you know, we learn as we go along. This is crafting. This isn't brain surgery this is something that you know you can mess up a little bit and make mistakes and learn from them you can't do that in brain surgery no 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 <laughs> no <laughs> he's funny isn't he funny all right mess up a little brain surgery no messing up in brain surgery so i'm gonna put that on there Flip it over, I'll show you. I suppose I could have just cut a dial out of the design paper, but this is just as fast. You're just cutting around the little loops. There's only four or five of them. It's really not that much of a deal. That's the reason I didn't become a brain surgeon. I tend to mess up. <laughs> he says that's the reason he didn't become a brain surgeon, ladies. So he didn't, he didn't have to be responsible for messing up. Isn't he funny? So funny. Okay, so 
I've covered the majority of it. I'm just going to pop another. He is a brain surgeon. He is? He is. <laughs> Who's calling you a brain surgeon? <laughs> Don? No, he's not a brain surgeon. He works uh, in um, uh, app web design. <laughs> brain surgeon. I wouldn't let him anywhere. <laughs> No one give him a scalpel, please. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my goodness. I can, I, now I'm going to have nightmares about James with a scalpel. <laughs> my dad always joked that he was that close to being a brain surgeon. He was a barber. He was a barber, yes. Yeah, <laughs> so um, I just covered the portion that you're going to see of the dial itself, which is really super simple. Okay, so we're going to next see where we need the dial to be sitting so that it's flat at the top okay so we're gonna put it right about there we're gonna flip this over and with this handy dandy spellbinders tool X marks the spot so we're gonna put a little bit of a dot all the way through the card you see that I just popped it through there because this is where my son thought he went to college for basket weaving. <laughs> okay, the, I I feel I sense a joke coming on. I've done basket weaving. Have you? I have. Huh? Was it? Did it hold anything, or did everything fall out? It holds a lot of air. <laughs> oh, I see. So then you have the hole, okay? And then there's a hole at the tip. You're just going to coordinate those two holes. Yep, it matches perfectly. Tape it down, run it through. Voila. Sorry about the noise it's going to make. Actually, basket weaving is really more complicated than I ever knew. <laughs> I've tried it, and uh, I don't like it. <laughs> it's funny. You know, just because we're crafty doesn't mean we like everything crafty. <laughs> so we're just going to grab this and take it away. No problems. I think we did it with those cattail plants. I feel gummy stuff on my project. The double dial dye and gummy gluey substances do not play nice. You want everything to run really super smooth. That's why we have washers that are included because it allows that paper to slide really smoothly. You don't want anything to. be close to your mechanism. Okay, so that's it, ladies. This is the super simple part. <laughs> We're gonna take have to go settle kiddos. I will catch up the reply. Okay, Shanna. The Brad that is in the center of the dial, the hole that's in the center of the dial, you put a brad through it and you pop an arm side on it. From that point, now you're going to use another brad, put it through the front of your Amy topper. Thank you, Amy. It'll be in the store tonight, I promise, if you're interested in it. And we're going to do, I'm going to build an entire seasonal set. Mom says she was making cards today, but afraid to do the interactive ones. <gasps> don't, Don, don't be afraid. Watch how simple this is. So all I've Even done... I can do it. He can, actually. Um, the bag goes through the front of the topper. Pop this on. And then this is the little tool that you get with the see you in the center die. You don't actually get it with this die, but all it is is cut um, one of the arms, maybe two of them are th actually this is tripled with designer with a cardstock 
So triple the layer, put a little slit in it so that your brad arms can go through it. You just hold it just like that. And then open. One, two. I'll do it really close. Watch. Pull that out and it leaves the perfect amount of space. Can you see? There you go. The perfect amount of space there. And this just, it's like butter. It flaps around like butter. The arm that's attached to the dial goes in the arched slot and the other arm goes in there. That's it. That's as hard or complicated as this entire process gets. So you put your bread through your washer, through the topper, through the arm, right? That highly sophisticated tool was my idea. It was actually. James was brilliant when he came up with the tool idea. Oh, I'm flapping stuff around. So we're going to put a washer on the dial. If I can get it on the bread there. Just like that. Use the tool. <clears throat> One, two. Ooh, looks so easy. Pull it out. It is easy. I, I'm not making it. Do you double the car stock for the washers? No, I don't double the washer car stock. This is just basically so that it's no, there's nothing catchy. Nothing that can grab at it. It's paper on paper. Instead of the brad, you never know if you're going to, the brad might dig into the slot. It could do all kinds of things if you didn't have some paper holding it in spot. So um, the next step is grabbing your last brad. Put it through a washer. Sheila Fisher says hello. Hi, Sheila. If you don't have washers, you can use automotive grease. <sighs> put, your, <laughs> put your brad. He expects me to be able to pay attention while he's telling jokes, ladies. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on with that. But a brad and a washer through the slot. Turn your project over. Put it through another washer. Doesn't matter if the washer's on top or on bottom. It runs just as smooth. Sometimes if you make that extra space, see how there's, I want to show you, there's a specific amount of like rised mechanism there. And if you put the washer so that it's underneath there, it will help to keep that Roseanne risen. Carlin just joined. Hi, ladies. Who? Roseanne. Carlin. Roseanne. Okay. So. Again, with this tool, just... We like clean carbs and not greasy ones. Right. So you're not, I'm not doing this tightly at all. I'm just bending it over. And pull the tool out. It's all she there. that's a die she just bought. I think so. Around. I think you, uh, I don't remember if she got the CU in the center or the double dial die. I'm not sure which one. I'm sorry. Um... I don't remember. It's kind of good news because it means, you know, we're doing really well in the store if I can't remember who's buying what. But um, make sure that your dies are super loose and then it just goes I mean, you barely have to touch it to make it move. It's like butter. Sometimes I see some samples of this being made where they're really trying to pull and struggle. It's it's a super easy mechanism. It, look, I mean, it should move all by itself. You shouldn't have any issue with this dial at all. So that's it. That is it, ladies. It doesn't get any easier than that, I promise. So cool. Yeah. It is a very cool product. And it's fun, and it makes a card super cute. I mean, super cute. Where did my little cloud go? I noticed a few minutes ago, here he is. So something that, oh, it was glued. So I'm gonna have to re-glue my cloud back on there. But it's super cute. The glue came off of the brad. Sometimes <clears throat> these coatings that they put on the brads, unlike the plain metal ones, it doesn't stick to the glossy accents that I use. So I'm gonna have to find another adhesive that works really well. Anyway, the little cloud moves up and down. He swings back and forth. Okay. 
So the next thing on our list, once we've got the dial going, is flip this over, grab some tape roll. You're gonna wanna double. You have to create enough space for that mechanism to smoothly work after applying the topper to the card base. So many things you can do. And yes, this dial can be put anywhere on a card. There was a really super cute card made by a customer of a um, ninja jumping up and Slice slicing birthday a birthday cake. And the yeah. woman made the card for a girlfriend of hers that actually designs cakes. And it was the sweetest card. She had the dial in a different position than the right hand bottom corner like it was um, made in the frame for. But it was super, super Maybe. cute just got the dye but I haven't had a chance to use it yet well must do I it tomorrow I certainly <laughs> hope you know that tonight's video inspires you to get that out and play with it because you always use a lot of tape is it necessary I use a lot of tape where you always seem to use a lot of tape um, Vicki do you mean the puffed up the popped up tape or I'm not sure which tape you mean um, tape runner because I use digital paper. If I don't use digital paper, I don't have to apply the printed paper to stock. Maybe she means this step. Um, I know a lot of people do yeah, use the pop-up tape. The pop -up tape. A lot of people do use like little sections of it. I'm just fanatic about making sure that when you see the side of the card, I'm one of those ladies that wants to make sure that no matter what you see, it looks professional. Okay, so that might be why I use more than some other people. So you want to stay away from the slots and the mechanism entirely. I wish someone would come out with thicker double-sided tape pop-up tape um so that i can only Make only sure hit the two one layer it's not going to hit there what the dial it looks close to the tape make sure it's not going to hit it <sighs> look at him he's so smart i'm a genius <laughs> all right we're gonna move this you didn't say anything before i put it down james now you're on my list <laughs> I don't have a list. You learn by your mistakes. So I'll let you do it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. He's right. I got too close. We're going to rectify that right now. Just, just and we're not going to waste it. In the middle. What? Just cut in the area where it hits. Just slice it out. Not the whole thing. Yeah. Shh. Okay, I'm just trying to teach you. That's all. <gasps> We're just gonna put it a little lower, ladies. He's teaching me. Okay. Schooling you. <laughs> he's taking me to school. That's what he's he's claiming. Which you know, I mean, how many wines have you had, honey? <laughs> I'm kidding. Yes, he, he doesn't drink wine. Beer every once in a while on a barbecue night, Fourth of July. <laughs> Okay. Anybody needs a glass of wine, it would be me anyway. So, then you just take all of that off. Okay, you saw where I applied it. Make sure that your dial doesn't hit anywhere. I think I need a simple card. Here's our cute. I do have a card album from various artists that I keep. That's cool. That is cool, Sheila. I think his hub, hubby does the same thing as I do. What? He scolds her. Oh, I thought it was a beer on a 4th of July. <laughs> so there. I have made a card before, but it just doesn't look nice. The topper is on. The card is nearly done. All we have to do is apply our pre fussy cut. I do art, but not this time. Designs. 
This is from the Aztec Sunshine set. So, I wanted to show you, I think I have it upside down, I do, okay. I wanted to show you how easy these are to color up as well. Um, the clouds I didn't put any color on, but I used Ranger Gathered Twigs for the stump. What are you doing? You looking for trouble? Yeah. He's over here, ladies. Trying to get stuff. Looking for something. Does your husband go, do any of your husbands or significant others go through your stash? And Every time I come over here and sit on Thursdays, it seems like he's been over here looking through something. <laughs> yes, let him show us how talented he is. <gasps> Amy wants to see what you're doing. So, that's all I did. Okay. Um, I cut, oops, I gotta glue that back on. The grass dye. They wanted me to make a card, so I did. All right, ladies, here's his card. <laughs> it opens up and everything. It says, happy birthday. He forgot to sign the back. See, I wasn't good. I always leave something out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, was I? Where was I? <laughs> the land and seas, guys. I'm sorry. I cut the mushroom border. And I just tinted it with a little bit of, let me go through the colors real quick with you. That's a start, James. Fire. <laughs> Vicki, you're fun. Um, the fired brick is what I placed on the mushrooms. The shabby shutters is the color that is the base on the mushroom cut as well as the grass cut. And then forest moss is at the tips of everything because it kind of gives a little bit more dimension. I think when you have more than one color of distressing from the project. Don's husband does cross stitch. That's awesome. I love cross stitching. I used to do that ages ago. Now I just don't. Um, so let's, we don't have to make the entire project tonight. Um, I want to get, what time is it? Uh, it's uh, 9 o'clock. It's 9 o'clock. Um, I want to get to the winner, the drawing. What are we going to give away today, Mr. Conleth? One of the dies that we used, or a stamp? How about a stamp this time? We did our dies before. How about a stamp this time? Mm, I just I, did I stamps did last oh, week. You did? Yeah, I gave away dies. both of them last week. Um, How about a strip of ribbon? What? A strip of ribbon. Ladies, he is not your friend today. Uh, oh, I know, I know, I know. Oh, one of my cards. Let's give away a digital pack of paper. <laughs> Yay, what? How about one of my cards? One of his cards. <laughs> I will put his card, I promise. Whoever wins, I will put his card in the, <laughs> in the mail and mail it. Um, let's do this, whatever dragon stamp you like with the paper pack. So that is the prize. We have 37 online. Let's do 15. And, oh, no, I mean, yeah, between 1 and 15, James, pick a number. Oh, um, it is his masterpiece. Five. five. From Sheila Fisher, this is such a cute card. One, two, three, four. Oh, the girl disappeared on my screen. I can't see her. Whoever it is. Sheila Fisher? Sheila Fisher. <laughs> he started there and ended there. Oh, well, she's commenting. This is awesome. Oh. Sheila Fisher, you win. So tell me, darling, darling, which of these? Oh, Mary says I got to make sure I sign it. Oh, James, sign your card <laughs> here. I'm going to make him color it too, ladies, I promise. Sheila, uh, do we want Dreamer, Happy, or Sweetie? One of them has balloons and happy hats, and one of them has sweets, and one of them is dreaming and sleeping. Yes, this is the dragon stamp that I used. Yes, this is Dreamer. 
so cute. He comes with all of these. And then I made the paper pack. I hand colored all of the digital items that come in these packs. I made a paper pack that coordinates for autumn with all the little goodies, the embellishment extras. Isn't that sweet? I'll show you the, the cover of the paper pack so you can see everything that you get in it, including this paper here and this lime. I love this lime. You get the little candies that comes with the sweetie. It's the same exact graphics. They're just pre-colored and added to a design paper pack. Congrats. Um, so Sheila Fisher has not told us. Have you been watching, James? Uh-huh. Did she say what she wanted? Is she still uh, on? Happy. Uh, she's still there. Um. Are you sure she's still there? Yeah, she She just said, uh, where'd you go? Happy. She says, oh, go. she wants happy? Okay. We'll do that. Sheila Fisher, you're the winner. Thank you so much, ladies, for joining me. Don't forget there's a design team call if you have any ladies that you um, are in groups with that are looking for positions. It's six months. It goes from December 1st till May 31st. It's open worldwide. There's three projects per month due. You get a lot of um, goodies when you're on the design team. And um, there aren't a lot of rules. I I play nice and I want everyone else to play nice and we're all responsible for ourselves so as long as we're adults and we want to apply and work for a great design team it's gonna be so much fun um, please send me your applications TLC C U N L I F F E at yahoo.com thank you so much ladies I hope you have a great week and I will see you again next Thursday